In this lesson, you will learn about the concept of good clinical practice, GCP. In 1996, ICHGCP, which is now recognized as an international fundamental for conducting clinical trials, was published. This is the introduction to ICHGCP, and it says this is the international ethical and scientific quality standard for designing, conducting, recording, and reporting trials that involve the participation of human subjects. To comply with this standard, it is very important in terms of protection of the rights, safety and well-being of the subjects of the clinical trial. Additionally, it ensures the credibility of the data of the clinical trial. When generating clinical trial data that is intended to be submitted to regulatory authorities, this guideline should be followed. This slide shows significant incidents and changes in regulations or important opinions related to clinical ethics. In the old days, especially under war conditions such as World War II, there was much human experimentation conducted in an inhumane manner. Here, the Tuskegee syphilis study and Nazi experimentation are shown as examples, but there were many other similar cases all over the world. In parallel with those cases, regulations or declarations addressing those issues were published. And in 1996, introducing this spirit, ICHGCP, which are now recognised as international fundamentals in conducting clinical trials, was published. ICHGCP was revised to Revision 2 in 2016. In Japan, JGCP was enforced in 1989, then updated and harmonised with ICHGCP in 1997. In addition, guidance related to Revision 2, including a risk-based approach, was issued in 2019. This slide shows the contents of ICHGCP. The main points are sections 2, 3, 4 and 5. Section 2 lists the principles of ICHGCP. Section 3 describes the Institutional Review Board, IRB, introduced after the Declaration of Helsinki. This section stipulates the responsibilities and roles of the IRB, as well as the procedures of its establishment. The IRB plays a very important role to ensure the rights, safety and well-being of subjects of clinical trials. Section 4 describes the roles of investigators who are mainly responsible for conducting clinical trials at medical institutions. The roles of the investigators include obtaining informed consent from the subjects, compliance with the protocol of the trial, reporting the necessary information to the sponsor and the IRB, etc. Section 5 describes the requirements for the sponsor. The roles of the sponsor include planning, managing and auditing of the clinical trial, as well as reporting necessary information, such as adverse drug reactions, to the regulatory authority, investigators and IRB, etc. Here are the contents of GCP in Japan. They are similar to those of ICH-GCP. Chapters 2 and 3 are related to the responsibilities of the sponsor, including the sponsor investigator. Chapter 4 is related to the responsibilities of the investigator, IRB, and the head of the medical institution. These are the contents of GCP in Japan. These are similar to those of ICH-GCP. Chapter 2 and 3 describe the roles and responsibilities of the sponsor, including the sponsor investigator in the case of investigator-initiated trials. Chapter 4 describes the roles and responsibilities of the investigators, the Institutional Review Board and the head of the medical institution.